right, uh, good day, Big Town, good day, YouTube, whoever chooses to turn in. Uh, Aaron with Christian men going their own way. Uh, I was listening to uh, uh, Thinking Ape, Stardust, the other day, talking about the cos winning the cosmic lottery or winning the genetic lottery. And uh, I've uh, often run into people in the past that have, uh, you know, have this mindset, and it's a lot. Of, it's pretty prevalent in a lot of churches these days that God has, you know, they pull that, use that scripture, that Old Testament uh, scripture from I think Jeremiah, talking about how. God said to Jeremiah, I knew you before I formed you, and I've raised you up for this purpose. Um, so, what these lot, a lot of these churches will do is take, what a lot of these churches will do is take that scripture and apply it to everybody. And uh, so, if I was born into a family that was completely dysfunctional. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I'm not even giving any parameters. Just a complete dysfunctional family where nothing's working right. So now I have a reason to blame God if you follow me. Well, why did you make me like this? You know, why, why, you know, this and that. And you start to question, well, this can't be right. How come everybody else is being, you know, has it better than I do? So, what what has been done? They've taken the Old Testament doctrine and specifically one one guy that that was said to, who was basically designed for a purpose. There are several people in the Bible that were created for a purpose, and uh, as Paul says. The rest of us was essentially in noble purposes, or I don't know, uh, maybe just uh, kind of having a hard time thinking, phrasing all this, and making sure I don't get into error in this. But uh, we just got to stop and look. If God was the reason I was born, well, then God's responsible. So if I'm born into a dump or a shithole. Like I say, everything's got everyone else's. Not, has has it better than I do, and I'm not making excuses for digging yourself out or not digging yourself out, because uh, people can, can pick themselves up by the bootstraps. But uh, some people have have it harder than others. So yeah, if we step back and look at it, that's a that's a pretty bad teaching that church has been. Uh, propagating. Rather, um, the truth is, your parents are the reason you were born, or the lack of. Maybe it's just a hit and run that your parents chose, uh, father and mother chose to uh, do, you know, pump and dump, and he's gone, oh, she's pregnant. Uh, both of them are to blame. It's not just the woman, it's not just the man. Both of them are, both parties are to blame. So, in the the first the first mindset is, yeah, I'm gonna blame God because I was born into this. No, blame your parents. They're the ones who create chose to create you indirectly or directly. So, and I wish a lot of pastors would quit propagating that because it just makes a mess out of the people that have issues. I hope you're kind of tracking with me, seeing where I'm going with this. Uh, I might have to redo this. I'm losing my train of thought. I'm kind of tired here. I've been scatterbrained at work. But, uh, no, God is not to blame for your for your condition of where you're born, raised, what have you. Uh, he's there to help you learn, help pick you up teach you things, show you things, so that you can make it successfully home to Him. 
that's the ultimate goal. Everything in this this uh, world changes, passes away. Uh, war, you know, we haven't in America here. We haven't seen war on our soil, but it seems like every other country has recently, or a lot of the third world nations have. Uh, things things could flip on a dime, and you know, someday we might not have power. What what the heck are people in cities going to do? You know. We get hit with an EMP or someone takes down our grid, you know. Chaos is within two days. People go nuts. So, some people don't even know what a cow looks like, which provided them their cheeseburger. Anyways, yeah, we need to stop blaming God for our circumstances, but the Bible's got plenty of teaching you know, when it's uh, put into correct context and, uh, and use correctly, it'll, it'll actually help us gain wisdom and help us dig us out of the holes if we have the ability to. Some people, you know, just, I mean, they may have, have physical disabilities. Well, they might not be able to participate like everybody else does physically, but they can probably use their brain, you know, and then there's just people that we're, we'll have to help take care of the rest of their life. It's just the way it goes. So, God's not to blame for your upbringing. Rather, look to Him for help. And I, I really don't think the church has a whole lot to offer as in, form of, in the form of help because most of the time they can't, they can barely keep their own stuff together. They, they don't have much, most people in these uh, large you know, church gathering facilities Everybody's all nice and clean and tidy and whatever, covering up who they are. And most people don't have a clue how to deal with people that need help, especially men. It's, uh, I didn't for a while until I started seeing what was going on. And, but I, or no, not me or anybody else can light a fire under you to get your life going back together. You gotta desire it for yourself. And that is, that's basically removing all the external influences that you use to uh, drive yourself. You gotta find it within. You gotta find things that you like to be motivated. You know, when, when I backed away from my desires of desiring a family and such, that was a major setback. But. I, I still had that little drive inside of things that I like to do for myself. I just re re-aimed my uh, outlook on life. It took it took a couple of months to pick me pick myself back up, but I work with my hands quite a bit, so it's pretty easy to do right up right away. Because I've all, often done many things that I like to begin with, and not sidetrack myself with uh, chasing women so much. I did, you know, I put in some effort here and there, but I was cautious, and I never, I never got seriously involved with any woman. And uh, it's not that I'm bragging or that it's good or bad. It just, it's where I landed. And everybody's different. Everybody's scenario is different. So it is what it is. It's just a perspective that I can help share with other men from a different angle. So. Anyways, yeah, God's not to blame for your upbringing like most church or most Christians or whoever will tell you. That's that's your parents doing. So, just just uh, just coming down to reality and truth. So, random thoughts, once again, on perfect display, arranged in a defiant traffic jam. So, anyways, let me know what you think. And I'll, uh, if I got any more wizards, I'll let you know. Anyways, keep your heads up. Go make tell. Happy trails. Off button, please. There we go.